A social media troll who accused Sabrina Carpenter of lip-syncing during her live performances has been met with backlash from the singer. The 25-year-old pop singer launched her short and sweet tour last week, named for her most recent studio album that was published in August. A TikTok user questioned, does she ever sing live? In response to a fan video of one of her performances, shortly after the tour started, in response to a question, another user shared the video and said, Hate to say it but 30% lip singing 30% backing track 40% singing. Sabrina was able to see through the charge and quickly jumped into the comments section to respond. Under the TikTok video, Sabrina boldly remarked, I sing live every show 100% would you like to speak to my audio engineers? The social media user responded to Sabrina on social media, saying, I wouldn't tell them to lower the backtrack voice as it's way too high. But she was not persuaded. Taste, a caustic song from her short and sweet album that is purportedly directed at Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello, has made news. In Taste, she delivers a delicious tale about an ex who has reconnected with a past flame, although not naming any specific men in the song's lyrics. During one of the lulls in Shawn's protracted on-again, off-again romance with Camila in 2023, Sabrina was momentarily connected to him. Shortly after his dating allegations with Sabrina surfaced, Sean and Camila had a public comeback, but they have since broken up once more. The message Sabrina sends to her adversary in love is harsh, and the words of taste are directed at the lady with whom his former lover has rekindled their romance. In the chorus, she teases the other lady, saying, I heard you're back together and if that's true, you'll just have to taste me when he's kissing you. In addition, Sabrina discloses that she ransacked her former partner's closet prior to their breakup, resulting in half of his clothes being missing, and now my body stores them. Now I'm gone, but you're still laying next to me, one degree of separation. She sarcastically tells the girlfriend who has been seeing someone else. Even Sabrina acknowledges her own sense of humor, remarking, He's funny. Now all his jokes hit different. Who did he learn that from, you ask? Taste followed reports that Salt and Hottie Barry Keoghan, Sabrina's most recent partner, had been discarded due to his party animal lifestyle. Barry and Sabrina were connected at the end of the previous year, when he rose to fame in Hollywood thanks to his scorching performance in Saltbin. At a Grammy Awards celebration in February, they acknowledged they were dating, but they mainly avoided talking about each other in public. According to a source last week, she had become frustrated with his behavior when intoxicated, and they had split up roughly three weeks before. Barry acts like an idiot when he is drunk and Sabrina was growing increasingly frustrated, an insider alleged of the divorce. He's always been a wild man at parties, and Sabrina had had enough. As she prepares for her tour next month, she is putting herself first and rising in the charts, the source continued. Shortly afterward, an insider said that Barry and Sabrina had an on-and-off romantic relationship. Months before rumors that Barry had broken up with his longtime girlfriend Allison Kierens began to circulate, Sabrina supposedly had her first encounter with him in September 2023. Allison and Barry are believed to have broken up during the summer of last year. They welcomed a boy named Brando in August 2022. According to a source, the two had grown apart over recent months and things have finally come to a head, and Barry's partying caused arguments between them. Barry simply stated that Allison had done a great job, and she's an incredible mother, in response to a question about the breakup in GQ earlier this year. In the summer of 2020, Sabrina's romantic life became a topic of discussion when it was suggested that she was involved in a romantic triangle with Joshua Bassett and his co-star Olivia Rodrigo from High School Musical. The musical. The series. Olivia added gasoline to the fire the next year when she released her massively popular smash hit song Driver's License, which many believe to be about Joshua and Sabrina. And you're most likely dating that blonde girl who has always given me the creeps. Almost four years younger than Sabrina, Olivia said. She's so much older than me.